Hey friends, welcome in. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a good weekend. It is 8.26.24 because I've forgotten to do the dates for a while. Uh, congrats on first, Mr. V. I hope you're back home safe and sound from your vacation. Dragon Gym, Catesio, Bomber, welcome in. <clears throat> Just to say hi. Uh, we're in our final week of August FTW, which makes me kind of sad, honestly. Makes me kind of sad. Means we get to go back to playing not Windows 9X games. Um, so this week, I think every single game, almost, all but one, but all the games that we're playing this week are going to be games that I've played already um, and have full streamed, with the exception of Tomb Raider 3. Um, I've never full streamed that. I have beaten it, but it was a long, long time ago. So we're going to be doing Firefight, Hellbender, Defiance, Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith, and Tomb Raider 3. That's what this week is. And there's a special stream. Well, I don't know if I'm going to stream it, but a group of us are going to be playing Meridian 59, which is like one of the first, you know, MMOs from back in the 90s. Because it's available for free on Steam and has modern servers and shit. So if you want to be involved in that, um, let me know. And I'll bring you into that little channel for that. Which is, I mean, you can go find it in the community forums in my Discord. Um, but you won't get, uh, you won't get um, messages from it unless you go to the Discord and find it. And then, like, add it to your interest list. Because forums are weird on Discord. I wish they worked a little bit different, but I'm also glad that they don't spam everybody. What I really wish for forums is that everybody remembered they were there and to use them for, like, special topics that maybe derail other topics. I don't know. I mean, it's Discord. Like, it doesn't matter. But every owner of a Discord, at least once a day, is like, why can't y'all follow the rules? <laughs> That's just how it works. Dragon Gym, 39 months. Holy shit, thank you. That, he used the emote, but it didn't go into chat, so it didn't make the sound. Huh. Wonder why not. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. <clears throat> so yeah, there's actually a lot, a lot going on this week. So tonight I'm going to be over at Pickley's channel. Let me give her a shout out real quick. Uh... Get that right. Okay, good. I did. Oh, look. The last. So we're going to be doing more bread and bread and pain. Um, looks like she already titled her stream for tonight. Ugh. That game is rough. It is really fucking rough. Two, uh, two penguins tethered to each other trying to climb a mountain like Celeste or getting over it with Benny Fado. But in co-op, with voice... Uh, delay and um, co-op online game lag and uh, you know after we 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 like we suffered through the first stream for three hours I would say and then I went and read the reviews and almost every single review Fred and Fred every single review on Steam is like the multiplayer is as broken as can be so like it's gonna be a miracle if we beat it, we'll be like the only ones it worked for. Hopefully it actually works tonight and like last Monday it wasn't some kind of weird server fluke where things were right. <laughs> but uh, it is pain, it is pain. I think we can beat it. I think, I think the old one from the 90s, Meridian 59. Um, I believe, I'm losing my train of thought here. I think like shorter streams the better for for bread and bread so we might go for like two hours tonight uh, because it is it is like mentally and emotionally exhausting to do the same thing over and over again for a while hey astrapple welcome in you think you remember this game firefight i got this on a demo cd i still have that demo cd um long time ago and i've always loved the way it looks honestly its visuals look like diablo one they have that quality of design to them. Yeah, that's the one. Bummer. 
they have that quality of design. Um, and oh, it's fun. It's almost a twin stick shooter, but it doesn't really play like that. Though you can add the mouse. <coughs> you can add the mouse um, and make it a twin stick shooter but without the sticks. You can also do joystick. I think when I beat it, I played it with joystick, and that was probably, what was that, the 300th one hour stream? I played it for 10 hours and beat it. Um, and it was wonderful. It was a fantastic game. So see you later, Bomber. <clears throat> Uh, there were some tough levels, so we're going to play for about two hours today, probably. Hairball laughed at you because he didn't think you would have that much to say on New Show. Well, you didn't think you'd have that much to say. Turns out we have really good uh, cohesion. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, and there's no New Show this week because, well, Friday... We're doing Diablo Resurrected over on Secrets of the Forgotten's channel. And then at noon on Saturday, I'm recording the podcast with Curious Alice and it's Jessica Woot talking about like our favorite favorite games, which I, I can't wait. That's going to be like the best thing ever. Um, and then immediately after that, we're jumping into Meridian 59 or trying to. I fully expect Meridian 59 to be some kind of disaster, but it's fine. Apparently, in that game, everyone spawns in a random place on the map, so we're all gonna have to, like, I guess maybe do our start quest and then find each other, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. <laughs> it'll be interesting. I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna stream it or not, um, just because I know that I'm gonna be spending the entire time trying to figure stuff out. Um, I kind of I kind of want to do that off cam, but we'll be in voice chat and somebody will be streaming it, I'm sure. But that's how we're going to end August FTW this year. Um, I believe right now it's going to be me, Sakura, Dan Van Dam. Actually, here, I can find out real quick. Let me look at the list. <clears throat> Possibly Puzzles, Ready Set Gaming, Bork, Bogus Meat Factory. Um, we haven't heard from Hesh Ballantyne. Um, and possibly Nate the Adventurer, depending on what he's doing. So it's going to be a pretty full, full party, full voice chat, for sure. <clears throat> uh, yeah, be a good time. I'll need to make a, a voice channel for that. Still. I, yesterday and today, I made some pretty serious progress on dealing with my, my VODs on YouTube. Um, I've got, like, maybe half, I've got to, like, redo a couple things in half of December 2022, but season three is all the way up. Um, so now I've got to work on getting the rest of four up, and then this is season five. And we're, you know, most of the way through the year. So I've got two more seasons to get up. Um, what I did do is I got some more long plays, some extra streams into categories. And I got all of my guest streams up. And I got all of the new show streams up, which I was way behind on. I'll show you. <clears throat> So we have all the new show streams, all of the guest streams. Oops. Yeah, here you go. So this is last last Fridays. And I, from here, every time there's a new show, it should be up like the next day. Now that I'm caught up, it should be up the next day. Uh, but I was surprised to see there's actually been 38 of these. I thought there would be a few a few less, but I've had a lot of people on. A lot of people on. 
There was almost a year break between, like, the first batch and the second batch, but we seem to be mostly back on track now, aside from, like, whenever I need to take time off. Um, but that's good. I got all of... Let's see here. Let's open it this way. <clears throat> I got all of the times people guessed it on the channel, which was typically the last three Septembers. Um, so there was Spy Timber, there was September, Hardly Newer, there was Mech Timber. Those are all here, uh, which is fun. <clears throat> and season three is the one that I have been working on for the like past couple months or whatever. These are all up. <clears throat> There's 187 ep uh, episodes in season three, apparently. Uh, they're all here. They all got their, their things. The information, the images, whatnot. And I've got uh, 2022. These are all up in public, but I gotta change some of the wording in them. For, for example, one of the things that's a bit of a problem here with this one is I put these up before we had the Dawsimber web page, so they refer back to the flow page that we used in the second year. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, second year? Third year. Third year. These would still be in the old room? Yeah, they're still in the old room. Yeah, of course, 2022. Man, that was a fun game. I need to get back to this one. Extreme Assault. Good stuff. Strangely has 18 views, so that's, that's exciting. People are watching this stuff. So that's good. That's good. Uh... So yeah, and I already had some of season four up, up to seven hundred. Is that right? <clears throat> yeah, six forty-one up to seven hundred, and we're at eight seventy-six now. Like the end is in sight. I'll probably have to. I know I have to add these to my data sheet. Here's my data sheet. Uh, which is something you all can view. There's a there's a place in the About Me section that you all can look at. Um, I'll, I'll post a link, too, if anybody wants to poke around this. Uh, okay, maybe it takes you to a specific grid, whatever. Uh, but it has links to all the VODs, so it's the Master Sheet. It's how I felt about it, where I played it from, just the title of the stream, how long the stream was. Occasionally, there's a date in here. I wasn't really trying to like hunt down the date of every single one because that became a very time-consuming thing for every video. Real pain in the ass. <clears throat> um, my rating system on these is like, one is uninstall, five is loved, three being neutral, two being not for me, liked, four, yeah. Uh, it's very uh, uh, official. <laughs> but I've streamed a lot of things. Uh, so basically, what I what I gotta do is I'm inputting December 2022 right now, and then I will have to input everything that's over here in season four. Even though I have it on the YouTube, I'm using a a, sh uh, a form to do it. So it only goes to the next line every time. So I can't jump ahead on this and I can't go backwards. I mean, I can edit it after the fact, but it basically, as you can see here with like this, this was, you know, December, 2022, it erases everything. It just keeps going down. And I'm trying to keep the cells the same as the stream number, uh, or the, sorry, the, the column, the same as the stream number, 624, 624. You guys get it, right? <clears throat> so. This has just been such an insane amount of work. Like, it really is. Um, but my, and always my hope is that I will get this done and then I can just do it once a day, twice, you know, once a day, get my extra one hour streams up and then they'll be there the, the day after I stream them on YouTube for anybody that missed it or whatever. Um, and then I won't feel the weight of how much I've let this fall, and be, fall behind anymore. Because Jesus, this has been, 
This has been really something. What else is there? Uh, I want... So let's talk about like the next couple weeks real quick, and then we'll get to our game. <clears throat> next week, since it, it will be out of um, August FTW, is that week of PlayStation 1 games that was supposed to be like a month or two ago. We're going to do that. And then the week of the 9th, to the 13th, I'm going to take that off. I won't be streaming. Um, I may sneak in some stalker streams. Maybe. But my wife's going to be out of town, and I don't want to lock the dogs up, like, all day uh, to stream. Plus, it'll give me a chance to, if I haven't finished it by then, finish the sheet, clean up in here, because... Um, yeah, because stuff. So, I'll take that week off, and then we'll stream again the 16th to the 20th, and then from the 23rd to uh, the 20, let's say the 30th, uh, there's going to be house guests. So Wildwood will be here, Toasty will be here, Lady Gangaw will be here, Seeky Wisdom will be here. So it's going to be a full house. We are going to be streaming. We're doing Quadland Diablo 2. The 25th is my birthday. I don't know if we're going to be starting Diablo 2 that day. Um, I do know that I'm going to order pizza. And force everybody to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, because you have to eat, watch that when you eat pizza. Or eat pizza when you watch that, of course. It's just, it's an important part. Um, but it's also one of my favorite movies ever. I love the turtles when I was a kid. So, like, when I was a kid, all my all my birthday parties were turtles-themed. So, continuing on with that tradition, I have to do that, like, once every ten years. <clears throat> it's been a while. It's been a while since I've had a turtle's birthday party. But... You know, do it with some of my absolute best friends. Uh, that'll be really good. So, yeah. Unclear what day we're actually going to start Diablo. I know that weekend, um, at least that Saturday, we're all going to be going to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Um, if anybody's interested in meeting up with us there, sh shoot me a message. Um, if you're going. And... Well. And then the next week, the 30th to the 4th, um, no, sorry. The 30th to... Possibly the 8th. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be at the Metal Festival in uh, Birmingham. Uh, I... We didn't have a theme month. This September. September is a mess for me. Like, there's just so much going on. I just... I, I didn't feel like I could organize guest streamers. Um, and, and in my head, I was like, yes, the first week in October, I'll have guest streamers. I don't know what the theme would be in October. Um, and I, I'd have to figure out who to pick, but I'd, I'd be like, fi like finalizing that the, while I still had house guests doesn't feel like, um, Maybe. We're just going to put a maybe in that. But I also should really think about what I would want. Slack Timber? You know what? Del Morte? I, I seriously considered calling it Slack Timber. That's something that popped into my head. Uh, or Slacktober. Slacktober. Because um, I like the sound of it. Uh, but usually it's a theme month and I invite people to come, you know, stream something in that theme on my channel. <clears throat> like we've done every year. But... It's a big maybe. Um, because remember, November... Do nothing but indie games? Yeah, but the... Defining what an indie game is, is always messy. And it's become more blurry. As, you know... Idle games. Idle games. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> no. No, because when I come back in October... Uh, I don't, I don't want to play this. That's not what I want to do. I couldn't imagine how boring that would be for me. I mean, I can. It would be terrible. So, well, there's the other thing, too, is my wife still owes, um, since she's in here and reminded me, this is her fault, she still owes everybody a week of, of gaming. So...
Yeah, you need to figure out your vacation. Because it's got to be in October. I mean, it could be in January. Octopus theme games? Oh god, there's so few of those. That I'm aware of, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, I, I played through Octodad. Um, on my 800th one-hour stream, so recently. Yeah, it's the only one you can think of. Um, I had the thought that maybe we could do it. Oh god, I hate spiders. You're going, you need the eight legs, don't you? Eight-legged games? I had the thought that maybe... Well, one of the, one of my thoughts originally was Stealthtober. We could, like, rehash Spy, spy Timber um, as more of a stealth thing and not necessarily spy, so anything with sneaking from, like, you know, Thief to Hitman um, would be a good one that I think a lot of people would enjoy. But I was just thinking that maybe it's just, like, games we love. Um, and just invite people on to share a game that they love. And maybe just do it for the whole month. <laughs> Dungeon Master has four peeps that makes eight legs. <laughs> your logic, though. Your logic. That was a couple, couple leaps there. <clears throat> Um, I don't know. I need to think about it, because it also may just be the case, like, I mean, for all I know, I could catch COVID, right? I'm going to be getting my booster here next week? No. Um, in two weeks. I'm also, I'm going to do that while my wife's out of town, so when I'm taking the week off, so if it, if it kicks my ass, like, the, the first time I got the booster, um, <clears throat> I will, uh, Two weeks. You said 9th to 10th, right? Or 9th to 16th? Or whatever? <clears throat> That's just two weeks. Um. But yeah, in case it kicks my ass like the last time I got a booster. Because the original shot didn't bother me, but the booster did. Um, but I want to get that before everybody gets here, before the uh, expo, before... I go to the thing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually looking at a calendar right now. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I'll think about a theme month. I haven't made any decision on it, really. Honestly, there's so much going on around the time frame. I'm a little overwhelmed with, you know, <clears throat> with trying to organize that right now. So... Maybe, maybe that's something I can spend that week that I take off organizing real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll need to figure out what we're doing the 16th through the 20th, which is we'll be streaming. Um, we're doing like a week of PS1 games. Next week. Oh, something. We'll do something. And then, we need to... <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Let me turn this on. We need to enable the redeem. Set a price for... For being able to choose all of the games I play in November. Hey, Paul, welcome in. This, uh... This view from the loom looks room looks crazy with the... Oh, with the, the box shelves? <clears throat> uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, pick all of November's one-hour stream games. What do y'all think this is worth? I have it right now at 200,000 channel points. Should it be more? <clears throat> How many channel points y'all got? Everybody everybody that's around and not, not hard lurking, let me know. You think 2,000 perfect?
$2.94. Yeah, for the whole month. <clears throat> this is not... This is not a... So what? What? whoever redeems this will have to look through my collection on the collection site, my Steam library, and my GOG account, because those are the things I can show publicly, um, and figure out basic, uh, roughly 20 games, because I take weekends off of this. Hairball, thank you so much. 40 months. You're only at uh, 158k? Um, so, so you'll have to find games that, one, I haven't played and that I own. Um, and then we'll look at the list and I'll be like, I already did this one. I mean, I'll also share the list of things that I've done on the one hour stream. Um, but yeah. Uh, Alright, it exists now. <clears throat> it exists now. That redeem is on. 20 times Minesweeper. We're done with Minesweeper. We beat Minesweeper. <clears throat> Rocktober music theme games. Let everybody come on and get my channel DMCA'd. <laughs> Can you imagine the gill? And Dragon Gym has redeemed it. Sweet. Sweet. This will be fun. This will be all puzzle games. I can feel it. <clears throat> nice. Yes. Um, yeah. Remind me, I will give you links to everything and let you start sorting through it whenever you're ready. Um, is there anything else? Oh, there was something else. This is exciting. So, you guys remember a while, a couple weeks ago, I snagged that TV that we looked at on Facebook Marketplace, I think it was. Um, I bought a media cart for it on wheels because there isn't a place to put it in here. So I put it on something that I can take in and out of the room, or frankly just keep where it's at over here. It's kind of nice, but... <clears throat> Check this out. I found, like, the perfect media cart for it, too. Like, it's exactly... Exactly the size. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So this guy's got a, a DVD player. It's an insignia. I've got a DVD player and a VHS player. Of course, the VHS player doesn't work. The tape goes down sideways, and then spits it back out, but... Um, I put, I took all the, the cartridge games off of the desk and put them down there below it, and I'm really fucking happy with it. Also, it sits at, like, the perfect height for my poang chair. Um, so I can just put that anywhere in the room, or take it out of the room if I need to, so I'm pretty damn happy. This, uh, this tray couldn't have worked out better. Also, it's got, it's like 60, 80 bucks, something like that, but also it's got a power outlet on the back that attaches with a place to also wrap the cord which is pretty dope. So, also it's a beautiful display. It's like a 2006 CRT, so this is like end of CRTs, like the highest quality CRTs they made before everything went flat panel. So, I was really shocked. It actually came with Toy Story in the DVD player, and that is shockingly crystal clear. Like, I was kind of blown away um, at how good that looked. So yeah, that's a, that's a new exciting addition. <clears throat> but for stuff like Atari and Nintendo or whatever, yeah. Light gun games. I'll need to figure out a, a situation for splitting the signal for capture, but um, just for having that, having that in here, it's really wonderful. <clears throat> but yeah, it's got... It's only got composite? Hang on. I always get confused between component and composite. Yeah, composite. It's only got composite. It's only got one input, and it's in the front, which is kind of a bummer. I think it does have, like, you know, an RF jack in the back, like a radio uh, antenna screw in, <clears throat> which could be interesting. I might give it some rabbit ears. <laughs> I don't know how much there still is broadcasting over the airwaves these days. It's been a long time. <laughs> but I'm sure there's some, like, infomercial channel or PBS or something. Any of y'all use rabbit ear antennas on any TVs? I haven't for a decade, at least. I feel like they were making a concerted effort to leave something on there. Just set up a camera in front of it? I might. I might. <clears throat> I might. 
But yes, you know, the only downside to this is that all of my consoles have been modded to work on component. Hey, Sacker, welcome in. Um, I mean, they'll, they'll still work on composite. Uh, but they've all been kind of modded for capture on component with the OSSC. <clears throat> but that's going to be nice. That's going to be really nice. And it'll be really helpful when, uh, whenever me and Wildwood finally get around to doing that two console co-op Sega Genesis game where you hook two consoles together to play Zero Tolerance. Uh, which... We still are trying to find another Sega Genesis, um, borrow, buy, whatever, <clears throat> because we need two of them, and we'll have to make a special cable that connects player two on each of them. It's the only Sega Genesis game that ever did that. It's this FPS. It's remarkably good, you know, for what it is. Uh, I think that was it. I think that's all I got. I think it's time to play some Firefight. Y'all got anything? Like I said, I hope y'all had great weekends. <clears throat> My back was ready to sit down for a bit. <clears throat> I haven't really decided, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, how I want to play this yet, because I could hook up a joystick. We could try to see I still have the Gravis Exterminator Force. Still plugged in, we can see if I can work it with that, or we just play with mouse and keyboard. <clears throat> yeah, that's the kind of, see, flattery, Dragon Gym will get you everywhere with me. I always forget to turn on my, uh, my chat screen over here. <clears throat> You know, if I was really smart and forward thinking, I would have I would have made my primary station be station three instead of station two, so that the chat screen would be right there instead of the window that's in front of me. <clears throat> but I kind of liked being in the corner. Um, and this desk is L shaped, and I like this desk. I should probably do more things on station three. <clears throat> Sorry. The throat is a little off. Um, I think. I'm trying to figure out. I might rearrange the computers in here a little bit. <clears throat> because we've got the AMD K62. And we've got the three Pentium 2s. Those are all quad LAN machines. But then I've also got that Pentium 3 that I use at this desk. But now I have a second Pentium 3. Um, for, for Windows 98. And I may replace whichever the, the weakest Pentium 2 is, um, and move all the stuff out of its case and into the little quad land case. I was also thinking about giving the quad land cases um, like cover, uh, sticky coverings. I don't know, like wood grain or something like that. Because uh, they're a little beat up. and It'll just make them look nicer. I haven't really followed that one through yet. <clears throat> Thought it might be a thing if I go around um, upgrading a little bit. Man. Talking is painful today. Uh, so we're playing Firefight. Grab my box. For this. this is a really cool box. Honestly, this is probably one of the coolest boxes in my collection. Like, by a large, by a large amount. <clears throat> um, so this is the Firefight Multiplayer Gaming Kit. These are both CDs. So there's there's two there's two discs in here. One for one computer and one for the other. Um, and they got sold in this box together and it's fantastic. I'm not going to take it out because it's kind of like trying to keep this box in good shape. Or, well, it's not in good shape, but I don't want to get it in worse shape. But this game does have like a multiplayer firefight and a multiplayer base building mode, which we have not explored yet. In the quad land because it is limited to, to two players um but i just i love the look of these cds in there with like this fire spinning fire uh, this is a very fucking cool box it's a very cool box this is a really weird game um so the version we're playing is actually my first version of it 
Not the demo, but this Black Diamond series DVD case. Um, because this one's easier to get in and out. God, this thing almost seems like it's pirate thing, but it's got stuff. It's also the Australian version, uh, for some reason. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty unremarkable compared to like the multiplayer gaming kit, which took me years to get a hold of one of them. Um, so this game runs almost completely off of the CD. I mean, it does. It does run off of the CD. What makes it interesting, but also awful? Uh, he told Zach Busey we were we were chatting about him. He freaked out a little bit. He's probably somebody I should get to know. I'll be honest. Back Bussy, Bussy. I I remembered kind of. Whether or not I'll I'll you know get it ingrained in my brain that's a different story. Uh, but what makes this game very interesting is that it only works. Save games only work in Windows ninety five and ninety eight. Because since it doesn't install anything anywhere, it for some fucking reason stores the save game data in the registry. So all it installs is a registry entry. And from Windows XP and up, it doesn't allow that. So if you play this game on Windows XP or anything newer than that, um, which I don't know if you can get it to run on XP, to be totally... No, you can, because I know Dr. CDCS is one that found this out. Um, if you... If you stop playing and close it, and go back to it, no save. No progress. It's all gone. Um, I think that there was a way to possibly create a registry entry that it can use, but it's not very well documented. <clears throat> I don't even know if this game, it didn't at the time I played it, but I don't even know if it has a PC gaming wiki entry or not. Um, but it's, it's wild. It's wild. I don't know what other games Chaos Works did, um, but EA and Epic Mega Games had something to do with it. One of them published. <laughs> Sounds like Proton might work on modern hardware. If Proton can act like 95 and 98 and not just Windows XP. So maybe. <clears throat> but it's, it's a very strange thing. It was a very strange thing. I did try to play this on the Pentium 166 with the Voodoo 1, and it was just... Everything that I installed for this week was a little sluggish on that, as we'd expect from something that old. Uh, but I was kind of hoping that, like, this or, you know, Jedi Knight, Tomb Raider 3 would... Uh, perform better than they did. Tomb Raider 3 actually, like, hard-locked. If, like, something got behind you, parts of the screen went blue, and it hard-locked the computer. Um, so we're gonna be playing everything this week on the, on the Voodoo 3 and the Pentium 3. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that, Mr. B. I hadn't tried that. <clears throat> um. Yeah. We need to do this. The next time I only have, like, one person hanging out here, we're going to stream some of this, um, this multiplayer. I haven't even tested it or fired it up. I mean, we could try to do it with mouse and keyboard. Is there actually... Secondary fire? There might be. Uh, we're going to make this a little more comfortable on me. Me whose neck is bugging him. <clears throat> you off.
Oh, wow. Interesting. <clears throat> Inventory item. Yeah. You immediately think of Boondock Saints? Interesting. How would I get rid of this? Take it in. All right, so <clears throat> anything doubled up here? There was a firefight. I should change it over. Man. Oh, what's up with my neck? <clears throat> All right, I think I think we're in a good way here. <clears throat> I going to That would explain a lot, actually. Okay. I got two waves. Interesting. I don't know why that's a thing. And they moved. They moved in sync. We can do joystick dead zone. Nice. Okay. Let's uh, let's get in here. This game has pretty stellar music. Yeah, loads everything from the disc. Weird. game chaos works firefight All right, hopefully we got we got good controls here. Oh, I didn't even think to try the Gravis. Screen tearing is going to be pretty bad on this. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? It makes me wonder, can we... Can we... Strike vibe to it? Yeah, I can see that for sure. What if we lock it to 60 hertz? What will that do for us? It plays, I you know, I guess it does play similar to Strike. A game, Chaos Works. Back when they were called Epic Mega Games and people didn't hate them.
But yeah, with the mouse is the only way you can get this to roll independently. The the uh, the gun. Nuclear strike was 3D, yeah. <clears throat> I think Soviet strike was also 3D, but that was a console only game. A lot to think about right now. <clears throat> Did I get this guy? I must have. Ooh, my shields are not in good shape here. <clears throat> Alright, shield's in better shape now. Hell yeah. I don't think y'all can hear the voices very well. Oh, that missile fucking followed me a long way, didn't it? Oof. The stray thing is, is hard to remember which side when you're, like, turned around. Incoming missile. Successful. 
There's no map in this game, so it's basically like going around and bumping into things to find where you gotta go. <clears throat> also, that cannon slams pretty hard. Oh, I didn't never notice that it changes the gun on top. That's cool. Magic. Oh, magic. Stop missing. The shots are expensive. Concentration that <laughs> I have to have with this one right now. Doggy, doggy, get the ambush. I uh, was in an ambush, but at least I didn't get attacked first. Just go to sleep. Annabelle's brothel? Annabelle's brothel? <laughs> oh, la la! Oh, porca di quella puttana di merda! This stream needs more pizza. Oh, shit. 
kill shot through the asshole. <gasps> I got an asshole shot. That's pretty good. Oh, look, I beat, I beat Rat Clown Car. Look, there he is. 75. There he is. He lost 66 sanity and I only lost 44. And I beat the game in more time. I'll take it. I'll take it. What a legend. Okay, I was spotted. No, B U what? B U R S. Furs. Like the kinds that get stuck in your fur. Fuck! Fuck's my favorite word. That's okay, no worries. Meow, meow, wow. Meow, meow, wow. Meow, meow, wow. Meow, wow. How do you say that? Meow, wow. Meow, wow. How do you. How do? Yeah, like... You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Lack my truck. Lack my truck. Lack my truck. Where are you going? Motel's not that way. Like my truck? <laughs> song after fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Great. You know how's it how is it felt when you're AFK, AFK but you die? Oh god. No. I'm 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 scared to ask. Very glad let's have been better. Oh cool. JFK Can we can, can one of the mods please just time jumper T time out jumper for for like for, for, for life from life 10 minutes is fine 10 minutes is fine good got good ham shouldn't it be I'm tempted I'm tempted do we need pottery do we need pottery all right, let's exchange, but you better not take my mathematics, otherwise I will kick you in the shin. <gasps> Fuck you! I took my mathematics! That's it, I gotta reload, I'm sorry, I gotta reload. That, that's unbelievable, they took my mathematics! I had one- <clears throat> Okay, welcome back everybody. Grab the mail while I was up and about. Uh, they just warned us about a big ship. Uh, so we need to be on the lookout for health. Vulcan activated. I hope we get lucky, because we're gonna need it. <laughs> I'd probably rely on these swarmers. Missiles activated. Cannon activated. Grenade activated. Missiles activated. Cannon activated. Plasma gun activated. Do we need to go back to our original landing zone?
<clears throat> I wish this game wasn't so screen terry. Oh, that wasn't the ship. <clears throat> oh, good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Do you have suggestions? I was saying earlier, I don't know if this game even has a PC gaming wiki. <clears throat> and they typically don't do a lot for fixing older games. Interesting. saying like we missed one of the pickups this turn there too when I played through it um, several years ago like 500 500 streams ago um, it did not have screen tearing, as far as I can remember. <clears throat> but I was playing on a very different machine. <clears throat> I think that was on the Celeron. Oh god, let's just freak out, huh? Oh no! Mission failed. I had a feeling. <clears throat> Let's... One. Ah, my. Six 
successful. Beaming up successful. Incoming missile. Beaming up successful. Thank you and all. Welcome in, friends. How's your day going? Incoming missile. Incoming missile. Not bad? Good. Good. Vulcan activated. Beaming up successful. Beaming up successful. Beaming up successful. Yeah, his music hits hard, doesn't it? I love it. Yeah, I didn't think so. This game's a little unknown. I ran out. I have already run out, unfortunately. Um, so I've got, I've got some boxes uh, in the storage back there that are, um, that are like things I have doubles of that I'm gonna be like selling or giving away or whatever. I haven't decided. Um, but like, there's some games on the shelf that I don't care about all that much. Um, uh, that uh, are probably gonna go in a box some point <clears throat> uh but yeah i'm i am out of space i'm actually out of space for for everything <laughs> shockingly it happened quickly Actually, just, I don't know if you can see it from this view, but, oh yeah, right here. There's a CRT on a wheeled cart that I can take in and out of this room because there's no place to put a CRT in here. Not one that big. Nice. <clears throat> Incoming missile. So not Keely Hawes, the one before her. Activated. Yeah, I don't know why I can't think of her name. That's really cool.
Is it Ronomitra? Is that her name? Isn't she the one that's in the Playboy article? Or Playboy issue? I believe she is. Or no, no, it's not, it's not her. There was another one that was, um... Um, there was, there was another one that did, like, uh... Um... Like events and modeled as Laura Croft when they were releasing like the first three games, and then like Playboy got her in there, and Thor uh, and Idos were not happy about it. for that bar caster that appears here. You have found a secret place. Yeah, yeah, she was the performer. Is she the one that does the voice file? Underworlds should have been Keely Hawes. Um, Missiles. Or maybe she just did Anniversary and Legends. But I'm pretty sure she did that whole trilogy. And then did the Laura Croft uh, spinoff games. <laughs> I actually saw her in a TV show called The Bodyguard, which was really good. Shelly Blonde, that's her name. That's the one. Yeah, Shelly Blonde. <clears throat> nice. Smallers. 
Feely Halls is my favorite Laura Croft voice, if I'm being honest. Oh, was she? Oh, Underworld, Underworld. Got it, not Tomb Raider. It's been a long time since I've seen those movies. I think I've only seen the first two. We're the bad guys. Victor's daughter in the past? Me! mission <clears throat> this is a game I would love to see remade like as a proper twin stick shooter with like updated visuals or just honestly just a remaster with good controls would be incredible and all it needs because it's still a good looking game maybe less screen tearing though Oh shit! Mission 
That thing, that thing fucked us up. You can go down pretty quick in this game. Plasma gun activated. Where did that guy come from? Hey, Chaz. Good to see you, buddy. From under a tree, I believe, would be the answer. Phantom Council. That's our way out. <clears throat> Kind of fucked up there. It happens quickly. Missiles activated. Plasma gun activated. Swarmers I was getting kind of panicky there about the health. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, Rush, welcome in. Mission complete. Oh, interesting. There's like a total there for pills and secrets. It must go down. It must go down as I open up more levels because it's like at 94% kills. There's a lot more enemies in the game, I would say. <clears throat> I just stood there, just took that beating. We got lucky on that, huh? That big missile it shot at me hit the building. Blew it up. Pretty good. If you're going to have a game where you're aiming in 360 degrees, why the fuck would you make it fake widescreen? No, seriously. Why would you, why would you take away, like, um, I mean, look at how much I can't see below me at any given time. Oh, I guess it does rotate. That's just super weird. I'm having a really hard time getting my brain to work in tank controls on this. Today, for whatever reason. Normally when I play this, I lock it. I lock it to tank only, but using the mouse to like zoom around is like, ugh. <laughs> Usually you just shoot where the ship's pointing. Shit. 
shit. Oh, fuck. I thought I thought I heard them both impact. It was just the one of them. There's like one more missiles activated. Swarmers activated. You know there's another ship up here. I can see it. Oh. <clears throat> need that, I need that, I need that. There we go. I didn't give me much, did it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fuck no! Mines? Mines? Oh my god. No shit. Hey, Lilu. Welcome in. Dude, the mines were a real dick move. Jeez. It mined the exit point. How's your day going, Lilo? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't want that. Slept off a headache this morning. Ooh, that was a good animation. Look at that. That's really good. Just how many mines can we get to like come over here? Was I supposed to go to? USB PS2 adapter right now. <clears throat> I know those things that came with every keyboard for years, and we threw them all away.
This sounds kind of like a Duke Nukem tune, doesn't it? he's coming from. <clears throat> hey, Millennial. Great to see you, friend. How's your Monday going? Return to gate or return to base? March of Teleporting in. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. There's base.
just love exploding things in this game. Starting fires. I wish I could wrap my brain around also using the strafe, but like it's just too many keys. <clears throat> Four is missiles. <clears throat> it's hard to dodge. Like, by the time you turn, it's already on. Spellcross, how you doing, buddy? Man, I was standing right next to the fucker. Somebody drop health anywhere? Oh, fuck, oh, need it. I did not see him. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about. Like, why would you make this a fake widescreen? Like, there was no way to see that coming in the door. There's just dead space on the screen that could be used for not dying. 
Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Self-destruct sequence activated. You have good music, yeah. I don't know who did the music for this, but they did a, a stellar job. For sure. I don't know why I did that twice. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how much longer we'll be playing this. Probably not much longer. My neck and shoulders are just not feeling great at this desk today. <clears throat> Do another level. Most of my health. Dragon of the West, thank you so much for the raid, friend. What were you working on today? Fuller's Gate 3. You wanna cook some food, watch some movies? All right, thank you for the raid. Appreciate you. Yeah, tell us what movie you're gonna watch, though. Star Wars movie in the Discord? Nice. God, this music though. <clears throat>
Eso. The Nick Cage horror movie? How was that? I saw something about that. Really is hard to keep up with movies coming out. It was good, you enjoyed it? Nice. We watched Furiosa, the Mad Max saga, or a Mad Max saga, last night. It was a good movie, but man, it was just so hopeless compared to Mad Max, which is almost comical at times. Huh. Like, it was uh, overly gory to the point where it actually started to bother me. All the, the torture and rape and all that, it's just like, eh, not feeling it. It's still a really good movie. Well shot. Good story. Hashir Sori Yo Kazi no Yu Ni Suki Mihara. Whoa. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Now I'm poisoned because I read that. A stinger. Yeah, I love the stinger. When I was in Ultravox, we, we played the other tournament all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I was in Ultravox, me, me and the band played the little tournament to, to, to let off some steam in between gigs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't understand why that was so funny in my head, in my stupid little brain. Are you able to shoot it? Um, I'm trying to put the fire out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening right Holy now. Holy shit, that's a lot of fire! <laughs> yes, Bucky. It is. I thought, I, I thought you were putting the fire out. I'm trying. Oh. Well, the voyage is complete. Fuck! Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'll come and get some fire with you. What the fuck? Now I'm on fire. Yeah, that's how fire works. Not normally. Normally I just don't be on fire. That's what I usually go for. I get it. I respect it. Yeah. You vibe that, yeah? I'm not rid of not being on fire is a vibe. Can you just open the fucking chest? No. I'm dropping it in the ocean. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's gone. It belongs to the sea again. Ah, oh, vegetables. I could go on and on. And I, apparently I am. Um, yeah, people tend to overcook them and they're mushy and gross. Yeah, just roast, roast your vegetables. Roast them. Put them in the oven. Burn them a little, just a little bit. Just get a little bit of char. I guarantee they're going to be amazing. Oh, God. There. Nothing there, guys. Oh, oh no! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> Nothing to see here. It's a bunny. Oh. Totally worth it. Little bunny. <laughs> Yep. I love bunnies. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Um. Finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. It was getting worried that no one will win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. You don't have room for this. What? <laughs> Oh, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna complete this level and find somebody to read. And think, well, I'm motivated. Oh, I'm gonna get back to work on the YouTube thing. Honestly, rest my neck and shoulders. I'm just feeling tight today. This game is just not getting along with me. Uh, but I will be on to Pickley stream later tonight in a more comfortable chair. <clears throat> Working on Bread and Fred. What is that? Double shield collected. Whoa. Cool. Thank That'll help. Thanks for the assist. Plasma gun activated. Swarmers activated. Incoming missile. Incoming missile. Oh god. The game new. Ah, fuck, it still hit me? Remember when I had double shields? They're all gone now. Which movie were you talking about, Rush Pirate? Um, the Uncanny Valley, about long legs? Or, uh, Furiosa? <clears throat> We also watched the Indiana Jones style of destiny, and that was fantastic. Loved it. Furiosa, everything looked too clean to you. I mean, they did make that brand new shiny rig. Everything else looked like a rust bucket to me. Dial Destiny was a film and it was alright. I liked it a lot. It made me happy. It was like that really sad thing at the end though. It was just like, man, why are we here right now? Get out of here, we just get out of here, land, 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 land. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I like Crystal Soul as well. Yeah, you felt that too. I don't want to get into spoilers, but like the end of it was just really depressing. 
Um, and like... Yeah. Yeah, it was... <clears throat> like, I spent like the next day in the shower thinking about the nothingness of death. Like, the movie, like, it, it clicked something in me the wrong way. But it was still a really good Indiana film. Indiana Jones film. It, like, it was really good. I thoroughly liked the plot. I liked, you know, the the MacGuffin of it. Um, and I loved Existential Dread, you said? Yeah, yeah, like, I felt that. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed watching the film, but it definitely, like, shook something loose in me at the age of 40. <laughs> you know, with our, with our very aging hero, yeah? <clears throat> Which is maybe why, like, all the, like, people getting ripped to shreds in Furiosa rub me the wrong way. <clears throat> Alright, good game is good game. I don't think I like using the mouse in there. I think when I go to play this again, and I will, even though we've already completed on stream, I just love this game. I think I would go back to using the joystick um, and, like, shooting where you're looking as opposed to shooting with the mouse. It was just too many things going on there for me today. You want to talk about indie spoils? Um, go, go nuts in my PMs. <laughs> Or, or we can, we can make a, go make a thread in my discord. Just name it like Indiana Jones spoilers and we can all talk. If you guys want to talk about Indiana Jones, let's go talk in the discord. I'll be there. <clears throat> we need nothing in your PM. <clears throat> okay. Oh. I did say go nuts, didn't I? Is that what I said? Sometimes this computer, like, gives you a prompt, like, are you sure you want to eject? And sometimes it doesn't. <sighs> sometimes it doesn't. Right. Yeah, I'm going to give my neck and shoulders a rest, hang out in Discord. Um, I will be on Topickley's channel here, I think, in about three hours. We're going to work on Bread and Fred, which is not going to be relaxing. It's going to be stressful and hard. Uh, let me give her a shout out here real quick. So go follow Topickley. She's awesome. Definitely worth your time. Um, and I'll be there tonight. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time whenever she gets off work and is ready. So um, We're going to be doing this co-op game about two penguins roped together trying to climb a mountain. Which was far harder than I was expecting. <laughs> Last one. We'll see if we can make the progress. We'll probably stream for about like two hours or something. Huh. Alright. Who's doing August FTW? Newcomb's doing Diablo Resurrect. Okay. What else we got? You know what? Let's uh let's go over to Girly Satan. I don't think I've ever gotten to raid her. Met her in the Met her in the uh um Rat Clown Car Memorial Raid Train. 
Lulu, thanks for being here. Okay, cool. cool. She's doing Creatures 1 and coding. No idea. But let's go say hi, make a new friend. Uh, I love y'all. I'll see you in a couple hours over at Tepickley's. Have a, have a great night otherwise.